And that's why they call it queso all the way up until today. <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to Ben Garza Studios. That's right, I'm doing a little light reading here. Pre-Columbian art in Mexico and Central America. Come with me, amigos and amigas, because today I'm going to be using this sketch painting to blow it up into a much larger painting. Let's go. Bam, slip, boom, pow, spaghetti. Cheese, crackers, slap, boom, crack, bam, slip, boom, pow. Now it's time for that favorite game, What's on Your Palette? Little titanium white, meridian hue, Prussian blue, French ultramarine, cadmium yellow, and Naples yellow. All right, so what I got here, just a little bit of turpentine in my jar and just Dipping my brush in very little, putting in this Viridian Green, and I'll use that to do the sketch, and we'll just get into it. Let's see. So there's the uh, sketch. Let's see. It's gonna end up like, yep, 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 yep. Yeah. There. Do do. Okay, fair enough. Let's start painting him. <laughs> so I have to be like probably one of the laziest painters because um, I just finished the sketch and I was like, I'm hungry. I should eat something. Here's a jalapeno. It's a really sad lunch, but I just eat whatever just to keep going. I got a tomato, an avocado here, jalapeno. Mm. Yeah, that's hot small piece of bread and then I'll probably just uh, watch some painting videos or Rick Beato music stuff and I spell oh this pepper is hot okay I'm feeling the Central America vibe today <laughs> anyway all right I'm gonna finish my lunch and then we'll get back in there anyway what was I saying yeah so I just laid in the darkest darks um, the benefit really of doing a sketch painting, um, is that when you, you know, do approach the second painting, really, um, you've kind of already worked out what worked and how you got there. So it's, it's really a little bit more fun that way. And you can really just get into, um, really like kind of like just retracing your steps is what it feels like. Um, yeah. And I'm just using my big brush. He's got a big fat hog. I got a big fat brush. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm also breaking up these darks. I mean, I really didn't want all of the the darks here to be that same uh, the same color. I think it just adds a little bit of. It's still dark, but it adds a little bit of interest. I feel like, um, and I really like the way that. That feels, let's get a little more, make this a little bit not so dark. Let's make this not so dark. Oh, that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. So, yeah, so I highly recommend if uh, you have a painting that you've done and you really enjoyed it, um, do another one, make it bigger. Um, there's just so much fun uh, with blowing up a painting and also really just... You know, 
you've already worked out all your situations like that. That's, that's what I love about this brush. You get these nice little swirls in there. I think I, I, I do want that darker though. Let's, let's swirl it up. Look at that. Oh, that is interesting. Yes. All right. I'm happy. I thought I wasn't going to use all this paint, but yeah. Oh, wow. I'll just put a little here just because it's so close. Beautiful. I love, I love seeing little swirls and paints. Um, you know what? I think now nah, I'm going to leave it for now. I was, I was going to break up this dark right here, but I'm going to leave that for now. So let's just keep going. Um, yeah, I haven't even really cleaned my brush. All I've been doing is just working back and forth. Um, just, just the dark values. The darkest darks, really. That was the beautiful thing about this, um, this picture is the, um, actually I might lay a, bit, a little bit in here. It was in black and white. And um, I'll show you at the end what it is, what it looks like. Yeah, it was in black and white, and there was a strong light to dark contrast. And it just came out like this. I thought it was just excellent. Okay, I'm going to use that color. Let's get something else going here. Oh, another thing too, see this line right here? Um, beginning to sketch with your turpentine is an excellent way uh, to, to really move past it. Cause like, if I were to use my mineral, uh, not my mineral spirits, my linseed oil, it stays wet. And so then when you go to wipe it, um, it kind of it smears a lot more. That could, you know, you could have, if you want to lay a thicker color over, you'll be fine. But if you didn't want a thicker color, then what you end up happening is you'll end up, that will come through, you have to color it again, right? Um, but with the, the turpentine, it dries really fast. Um, and that just makes it so much easier for you to to really just play around with the shapes even more. Once you lay it down, like I laid this down, I, I stepped away, I had a little bite to eat. I like to just kind of like let the um, the drawing sink in and really just see like, am I going in the right direction um, or am I gonna cause myself some problems if I just jump right into it? And so that was one of the issues I saw. The other one was like on the shoulder up here. I noticed that the uh, top part of the, the ceramic bowl, um, it, it wasn't wide enough. I liked it the way it looked in that one. So I just made it a little wider. And yeah, these are all just little things that you can do because the, um, that initial drawing with the turpentine, it dries fast. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Kind of wondering if I need my big brush, let's see. Okay. Well, I said a whole lot. Um, <laughs> I guess the camera stopped. This is the best part about filming uh, painting sessions. You know, sometimes I just get so involved in what I'm doing. I'm like, I forget to check, see if even the camera's rolling. So thanks uh, for and you see this a lot in my videos. I just, oh man, I mess it up all the time. It's a hard thing to do, you know? Paint and, <laughs> paint, paint and record. I know it sounds stupid. It's hard to paint and record, but it is. Well, for me at least, everyone else seems to be a pro at it. Yeah, trying to get this directionality here. gonna use a little dark color here just to kind of re-emphasize this cool little shape. I like that. Nice. Yeah, we'll go all the way up. There we go. Let's see if we can get a little dark here. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Jeez, man. Slow down. 
just get rid of this little green, add some more, add some of this Prussian blue. I'm not even mixing it. I'm just using it straight out. Yeah, not letting all those colors bleed together. Darken this here, this little brim. line there sometimes it's the smallest little touch of dark in an area next to a light will bring forward that light even more now I really do feel like his eyes and this is not dark enough yeah that looks more interesting to me nice Yeah, see, I don't really clean the brush in the turpentine. Um, if it means using, like, three brushes, I just use them. I'll just use three brushes. What, what does it matter? I'll clean them at the end. Um, let's just add a little bit more here. Just a little titanium white white in there I got plenty of paint on the brush so it's adding in its own making up its own color really there we go yeah wow so beautiful yeah so this is a hog bristle um, and you can immediately tell the way it's, it just grabs the paint pulls it right over everything um, these are these are great to use towards the end as you can really grab a lot of paint and just chunk it on there like this. Yeah. There we go. Let's get his other side. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of that cadmium yellow just to change up. Whoa. Whoa, what just happened here? That was crazy. Yeah. Beautiful. See the way it's breaking that up there? That's what you want to see. That's it. That's it, my friend. Come to life. We bring ancient objects back to life. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm really okay with outlining things if it, if it's in service of the, of the object, right? See, so right there, beautiful little split. Um, I can even add one little, just to give us a nice little cheek. Cool. I do feel like this part here, isn't really transferring enough. Up that. See, so the difference um, right now, what I'm noticing is that the difference in these dark values is adding interest to the dark value. But it's also, I mean, that's a that's a extremely strong value change um, here, you know, from the dark to light. But um, the fact that I use the viridian straight out of the tube is it's much darker as opposed to the ultramarine blue there. So I'm just letting that go, I'm writing that out. Let's do the same with this little ear. Yeah. I kind of feel like this could afford some darkerness too. Darkerness? Is that a, is that a term? Or can we do darkerness now? I guess so, you're allowed to say darkerness. Okay, sounds good. Let's just put this here for a little bit of, yeah. Woo. Whoa, 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 my man. He is lifting off the ground. Okay. Um, yeah. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lighten these up. 
All right, so now we're getting to the final stages. I'm just gonna start putting in some of this uh, yellow here. Yeah. And um, I don't know, let's, let's just see. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, so now I'm trying to build this, use this contrasting color it's yellow here really use it in a way to make it you know to kind of emphasize the fact that this piece is from another time and it's being pulled apart maybe pulled apart or maybe put together so we can see it in our time it's just uh a little bit of what it feels, a little bit of what it feels like. There we go. Whoa. Brush. Brush. I can get this in here. Maybe down here, let's just, I, I want to leave that blank. I like the canvas. I like, I like seeing the white of the canvas. Um, for me, it's a reminder that all things come from materials. And I don't want anyone to ever forget that this was actually made. You know, sometimes, sometimes the paintings can be so moving that you really forget about the person that made this, the hands that touched the, the material. All right, muchachos, as you can see, that was a fun experience. Um, I highly recommend you give it a shot. Um, thanks so much for sticking with me all the way to the end. I hope you picked up a few little things here and there. I try to just drop as much as I know in um, without feeling like I'm force feeding you. But um, yeah, this was a great experience. I highly recommend that you give this a shot. Um, work out a painting, blow it up, see what the differences are, find where you feel like you could have improved. Also, find new interest in the larger piece. Um, for me, I really liked the way this came out. I was really loving the modeling in the face, um, but that didn't happen on this piece. But it didn't slow me down, it didn't stop me, because it's so much bigger, there's so much more paint, there's so much more to get into. Um, as always, like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the process, um, or just let me know what's going on. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's Ben Garza Studios or TikTok, Ben Garza Studios. And uh, yeah, what else can I say? Um, yeah, let's check it out up close. How's that sound? Until next time, adios, muchachos. Uh -huh.